Hello, this is VU3ZAG. Today, we will delve into the fundamental manual settings available in UVK6 radio with IJV firmware. We will cover setting your call sign, enabling CW, signing functions to side keys, adjusting AGC settings for better RX performance, and conducting RX testing. To enable CW functionality, first, turn on the DLMON settings to monitor DTMF tones locally from the radio. Navigate to menu for the settings. Access the service menu by turning off the radio, then turning it on while pressing PTT and side button 1, and release when the screen turns on. In the menu, find QRA settings to update your call sign using the up and down keys. You can take help of menu button to move to the next character. You can enter a maximum of 8 characters. Once done, save the updated call sign. Next step is to assign the CQ call to a button. Here, I'll be assigning this functionality to side to L button. This can be done by navigating to side to L. Using the menu button, you can change the mode to editing mode. And you have to select CQ call option from the list. Once you have done, save the settings. Currently, the radio is in channel mode. I will be changing it to frequency mode by long pressing button 3. Note that the CW will be activated only in CW mode. Currently, the VFO is in SSB mode. For changing it to CW mode, I will long press 0 button. Now. It is CW mode. We need to change the bandwidth from wide to narrow. For that, I'll be long pressing button 5. Now let's see what happens when we long press side button 2. So it is successfully initiating the CQ call in CW mode. You can also see the message which is being transmitted. Now let us do a small test in VHF frequency range. I am entering the frequency in VHF range. Note that in frequency mode we need to enter the 7 digit frequency and press the last zero so that the frequency gets populated on the display. I'll be tuning another VHF radio the same frequency as 145-500 MHz. Now let's see what happens while long pressing side button 2. We can clearly observe a blank carrier on my other FM receiver. That means the CW is working fine. Now let us try transmitting carrier wave from my other radio. As you can see, a side tone is being generated in UVK6, which is a very interesting feature. Although it is a FM carrier which I am transmitting on the other radio, UVK6 is able to identify the carrier and generate the side tone. For RX testing, 
Let's try tuning into the 10 meter band in SSB mode. While receiving HF, you need to open the squelch. This can be achieved by pressing side button 1. You can adjust the AGC settings using function key and long pressing button 1. There are three modes, fast, slow and manual. If you are in manual mode, you can adjust the AGC settings simply by pressing the F key and using up and down arrows.